god fires immediately what's going on guys welcome back to another legacy cube draft here on the magic the gathering machine i don't know what we're taking here entreat the angels that seems like a new addition it seems like that was in here and then it wasn't in here and now it's in here again hmm fascinating hmm hmm Hmm. It might just be fiery confluence. I do like a good fiery confluence. Yeah, I think fiery confluence is probably the strongest card in this pack. Could take a dual land, but they're all Abzan related. I think it was Woodland Cemetery, Temple Garden, and Isolated Chapel. Those are my guesses. What up, Xanthor? Hmm. We just go mono red. We can take the goblin guide. Probably wheel of devil's player of fire and ice. Or we can be like some sweet blue, some black red deck with ultimate price. Or we can take this Ulamog and try to do degenerate things. Could just be goblin guide. I'm going to take the goblin guide. We're going to try to draft mono red. Because Mountain is my favorite land. Pia and Karen Alar or a Braid. A Braid can't go face. But we do end up getting a bunch of... A bunch of 4 drops in the deck. I'm going to take the Braid because I think having main deck artifact removal is pretty good. Chandra is a pretty nice top end. Manic Vandal. Also just pretty good. I think I just want the Manic Vandal. Like, just having a 2-2 that you can just cast and kill like a... Uh, I don't think there's Signets in here, but like a Worn Power Stone or a Sword or something is pretty good. I mean, this guy's fine in the main deck. Siege and Commander or Bonfire? We don't have any way anyway, we're really set up a bonfire I'm pretty sure we're just taking the siege gang commander goes wide oh hazard or stoke the flames oh man hmm both these are good one two three is it ten cards two cards are coming back I don't think either one of these is coming back I think it's probably stoke the flames Oh, Chain Lightning. That's gas. Fire Drinker Savior is pretty good. I don't think it's a Chain Lightning, though. I think the three damage for one mana spells are pretty pretty premium. It's definitely not literally just Hearthstone, and also Hearthstone is not that bad, so... As a Hearthstone fan and an MTGA fan, you might be asking the wrong person. I mean, it's just a matter of, like, if you don't like it, you're just probably gonna have to change and adjust what you like, because you're playing Magic the Gathering on Arena. I mean, it's just as simple as that. When I play Standard or when I draft on Arena, it's literally just a draft or a Standard match. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I mean, I... I, I don't know. I don't want to sound rough, but, like... It's just a matter of like, hey, I don't like this interface or like I don't like the way the animations work. But it's like, okay, but that's really not a big deal, right? Like it's not a deal breaker. Or it shouldn't be anyway. I 
And Wizards is pushing it so hard because it's going to make them a, a good amount of money and it's a great way to represent Magic the Gathering. That's my opinion. Anger and the Devil's Play did come back. Hmm. I don't think it's Anger. I think we're just taking Devil's Play here. That's a nice uh, double uh, a, a, a twofer, if you will. What do you mean they're doing less for Modern? Like, Modern is literally getting a brand new set called Modern Horizons. Legacy hasn't changed at all since the addition of MTG Arena. So, like, none of these things have changed. The teams that are devoted to MTG Arena are not the teams that are going to be promoting Legacy or Modern. Like, also, Modern is not an eternal format, just to be clear. I always want to be clear about that because that's a pet peeve of mine. And also, like, you're not able to play older formats because it's brand new. Do you know how long it's going to take to code every single modern card, every single legacy card, every single vintage card? Like, it's not a matter of them not wanting to do that. It's a matter of that takes time. Oh my god, the Hazard came back. Wow. That's a good sign when your last pick is Fire Drinker Seder and your second to last pick is Hazard. I spilled some water on myself because I was so excited about that. That's insane. Good lord. Banefire. Oh, Legion War Boss is great. I was going to say Banefire, but we already have Bonfire and uh, and Devil's Play, which I'm, I'm going to put in the sideboard for now, but we will take the Legion War Boss. I can see taking Grim Monolith, but I... I, I eh. Oh, Lightning Bolt? Lightning Bolt? The most perfect red card. Looks like someone wanted you to have a sweet mono red deck for Mike's birthday. Yeah, that's really nice of them. So sweet. Zealous Conscripts? Probably better than Char, right? This card just wins you the game. I really like Fractured Identity, and I kind of want to add it to my cube. I probably will. Yeah, we're taking Zealous Conscripts. And Char will eh, probably table, whereas Zealous Conscripts likely never will. I feel like Koth is probably pretty sick in this deck, because we're Mono Mountains, but... You know, what do I know? It's either Koth or Cold Steel Heart or Mimic Vat. I'll just take the Koth because this is probably the best Koth deck ever. Stoke the Flames can probably go on the three. Yeah, these two guys are hanging out together. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Splinter Twin? I wish there were more red cards that we could actually, like, combo with. It might just be Thundermount Hellkite. It can't be Thundermount Hellkite, right? Like, dragons are a dime a dozen. I mean, you just you just get free wins when you have Splinter Twin Zealous Conscripts, right? And if we even get, like... It's really good to have, like, one or two dragons. I agree with you. I'm at the emergency department? That sounds terrible. Oh, 
Oh, Rabble Master and Firecraft? Once, oh, God. I'm going to take the Rabble Master here. I'd rather have Rabble Master and War Boss than a Squiz of Firecraft, even though Firecraft is fantastic. Searing Spear and Abbot of Carol Keep. Wow, this is great. This is looking great. I took Twin just because it's literally a, a mono win. Also, Twin on Siege Gang is also pretty good. Also, Twin on Siege Gang is also pretty good. That's a lot of also's. Yeah, I think it's just Searing Spear here. I'm not a huge Abbot of Carol Keep fan just because it never it doesn't have evasion. It doesn't it's not a it's not a great it's a two one, so it's not super resilient. Monastery Swifter, however, I will take. Having another one drop is just great. I also like a roast here, but I think we're fine on removal things. Yeah, Banefire came back. Hangerback Walker, also not terrible. Gives us something to do with our mana. I'll take the Hangerback Walker. We also we already have Devil's Play if we want like a I'm not gonna worry about it being countered. Hey I bet <laughs> Oh man. I'll take Copyline Gorge just in case. I don't see us playing Imperial Recruiter. It can't get Zealous Conscripts. The Char came back. Wow. Probably put Manic Vandal on the sideboard because we already have a braid in the main deck. Nahiri? Sure. And guys, Thunder My Hellkite came back. So that's pretty cool. An exquisite firecraft came back? <sighs> and Aurelia came back. Oh my god, dude. They're just giving us this deck. Oh, Runaway Steamkin, probably better than Chandra. Chandra is probably not coming back. But Runaway Steamkin is a premier to drop in this deck. Wow. Yeah, we're taking Steamkin. Oh, a PNLR and an Incinerate. I don't think we need any more three drops. Do we need any more three mana burn, two mana burn spells though? Hmm. We already have two, two three drops that are making one one tokens. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Incinerate here. Hellrider? Yeah, Hellrider's pretty choice. I don't see a world where I don't play this Hellrider. Although we, are, we have to make some cuts at this point. Hangerback Walker, probably not making the cut. You like Tomb here? Interesting. I'm going to take this Thunderbird Regent for obvious reasons. Goblin Dark Dwellers? That seems actually pretty okay. I don't know if it's going to get played, but Shivan Fire can't go to the face, unlike Burst Lightning, so. Still nice to have the option. Clifftop Retreat is nice. We have a Nahiri and an Aurelia. I don't think we're playing either. I also don't think we're playing Pyroclasm, though. Maybe we are. 
Yeah, I'll take the Pyroclasm. Oh, Rekindling Phoenix Arc Trail and Jesus. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut the Splinter Twin because even if it's like it's just a card that's kind of a blank when we have so many other good cards right now. Goblin Dark Dwellers is fine, but it's usually just gonna be like a flame tongue copy that can hit the face for five. I just don't think we need any other four drops. Like we have Thunderbreak Regent, we have Hellrider. I think I'd rather just have the Arc Trail. Experimental Frenzy? I don't know if we're an Experimental Frenzy deck. We have too many, uh, we have too many expensive cards, unfortunately, but... Twin and Avalanche Riders is rough, though, because you pay four for the Avalanche Rider, then you pay four for the Avalanche Rider, then you pay four for the Twin, and it's just like, oh, this is so much mana. I think it's still... Maybe actually, maybe it's just some, I'm gonna take this missile Pyromancer. Pyram Pyram the Chandra came back. The Tia came back. This I was not expecting. This is just a well-rounded Planeswalker, unlike Koth. Hey, Star Extinction. Hey, Shiv and Fire. I have to make at least one cut. I think we're just going to play 16 lands here, but... Might just be Siege Gang. I like Thundermon Zell's Conscripts better than Siege Gang, and we have a lot of great 4-drops as it is, so I'm not, like, super concerned. Also, Koth and Chandra both add mana, so. Playable, 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 playable. Could cut an arc trail. Hey, Clifftop Retreat came back. Wow. This deck is insane. Look at, look at our sideboard. It's like mono red and red white cards. Literally, we don't have a single. Like, it's all red, white, gold cards. Artifacts. We have a sort of... Bo the rekindling... Let's see what the 60 card version looks like. Thirty-five, thirty-six, and then twenty-four lands. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. Stoke can go in the three drop slot. This is our curve for the thirty-six card, twenty-four land deck. I agree, we shouldn't, but. Every time I do it for the memes, I end up losing, and I feel bad about my choices, so I'm going to avoid the memes this one time. But make no mistake, there will be future memes. I think Phoenix is probably worse than Thunderbreak Regent, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Well, I have to get a four drop. I think I think Koth and Chandra are 
very, very good. I think Hazard's probably pretty good. Maybe Hazard's worse than Thunderbreak Regent. I mean, we have a lot of expensive cards in the deck, so actually Thunderbreak's probably just a creature that is just better than Hazard here. I think we can play 16 lands with only two 5 drops and everything else being 4. I think we just play Arc Trail. Now, Hellrider just wins games on the spot. Hellrider's crazy. Hmm, 16 mountains. Sounds good. Let's do it. Oh, I don't think I'd cut Thunderbreak for Arc Trail. I think I would just play the Thunder. Yeah, I'd just play the Arc Trail. <laughs> Thank you. Lower this volume because that is loud. Lord Magro Prime, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will keep. If you're mono red and cutting Hellrider, I'll have Janice in accounting smack you around. That's 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 fair. I'm just gonna get in there. If you want to trade here, that's fine. Dahlia seems good. It's up to you. You're welcome. Dahlia. Seems good. Oh yeah, uh, being able to next turn Fiery Confluence for one, kill Kithian and the Vampire, and then deal them four to the face seems pretty good. Uh, one damage to each creature, two damage to each opponent. Cloud Goaty Boy. Kithian's gone. Thalia's gone. So we have a Cloud Goat and no lands in hand. That's pretty good when we have Chandra and... <laughs> oh, you're going to regret that one, my dude. So two enchantments, but we didn't see any artifacts. It's almost tempting to take out like Fires of Crusader and Goblin Guy to bring in Pyroclasm and like. I kind of like that. Take out the Goblin Guy, take out the Fire Drinker Crusader. Monastery Swiftster would survive. Bring in like probably Shiv and Fire. I mean, it looks like they're playing a bunch of small dudes. We can also bring a bonfire. 
I think Bonfire is probably more fun. Yeah. Me and Josh are on the same page there. This is a hand, all right. I'm going to ship this hand. All right, not great, but we'll keep it. <laughs> Six lands, Lightning Bolt. They're like, I heard this was your favorite land. Oh, boy. Okay, we literally don't have to draw a single land for the rest of the game now. I see. I mean, all the cards in our hand are very, very good. And this is nice because you should be able to deal with whatever they play this turn unless it's like a hero of blade hold, which would be really sad. Gideon Jura. Each opponent is unfortunate. Wow, if we killed this, so much better. Holy smokes. Kill this, kill the Gideon. Michael Bolton. Lyra. Well, that's something, isn't it? Yeah, that's hard to deal with. Like, we can fire a Confluence, kill these guys, make sure this doesn't flip next turn. Why don't they attack with this guy to just force me to block? I guess because I just block and then a chicken comes back. That makes total sense. The problem is, like, then they just get to keep Gideon and make another 3-3, three, three, so it doesn't really stop the problem. I'd rather just get rid of Gideon here. Like, we either get rid of Gideon and they keep a 3-3, three, three, or we let this flip next turn. The 6 6 flying first strike lifelinker does seem like a problem. I agree with you. Yep, 6 7 9 10 12 13. That's wow, Xaxes. Enchantment, enchantment, enchantment. Yeah, I don't know how we beat a Lyra. I guess Devil's Play is one way to do it. Just hope we draw enough lands. What are you going to do? I will keep this hand. I am looking forward to a, a Legion War boss here.
Oh yeah, definitely playing that guy here. Thank you. Oh, McGimp, third, 11 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Clearing the way for this Legion War boss to get a free hit with a token in is really good. Also, having incinerate... Oh, man. Just the answer for, answer for all the things. So now we're going to draw the... Steamkin, right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, 13 months. 13 months. That's even better. What's 43 more months? What happens then? Thalia. Th -th 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 Thalia. One land would be great, because then we can actually play Koth. We can negative two to add four mana. Play, like, Fiery Confluence. Clear the board. Like, a cube means a month of sleeping two less hours every night. Yes, that is correct. Wow, they're getting aggressive with... Hmm. Let's deal two damage to each creature. And two to each opponent. We could have attacked first there. Maybe they block with Mentor. And then we only have to deal one to each creature. Probably would have been better, actually. It's turn six and they missed three land drops. We've missed one land drop, two land drops. But having a cough here, so we have eight power on board. Plus, we have they're at nine, and we have seven damage in hand. It's pretty good. Okay, so they're basically just dead. Uh, if they have, like, Mana Leak or something, there's no reason to throw counters. Actually, we have... I forgot the mana from this guy. Yeah, all right. Well, that was a match. That was certainly a match. Dang it. I'm always giving people planes. Never acknowledged? Acknowledged lethal. I did. I know I only acknowledged it. I took... I did it. I lived it. Oh my god. So lucky. <laughs> So lucky. What is it, six, nine damage in hand? They're basically dead. I mean, if they're just going to have to discard every 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 turn, like, it's... They're not really getting any advantage here. They're just getting selection, which is... Not nothing. Lucky, 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 lucky.
go for the throatums. So they go to nine, and we have six here. So if they try to kill Thunderbrick Regent, they just die. That's pretty good. I like fire. Oh man, if we hit a land, we can go cough, negative four, fiery confluence for one damage to everything. Attack for four, five, six, seven, eight, put them to one, and we have a cough and two creatures on board. That would be insane. Just give me a mountain. Oh, actually, that's lethal because I forgot about the trigger here. Wow, that's insane. Oh, that's great to know about. Oh, man. Nice reveal, my dude. Nice reveal. What do we see? We saw three cards. We saw, like, Go for the Throat, Mana Tithe, and Champion of Wits. Okay. Get out of my house. Get out of my mono red house. Whatever that means. Field of Ruin. Watch out for that one. That's good. I did. That's true. That's a solid solid point this is why goblin guide is uh as good as it is oh is that an what did you oh okay i was like what did you do did you suspend an ancestral vision or something okay five lands that's all we need we're good six lands huh okay 16 lands right. thank you ocean infinity thanks so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome back welcome back This hand is slightly less gas, but I believe in it. Oh, I see. Oh, this is just... This is just wonderful. This is all I've ever wanted from... From our opponent. This was aggressive. <laughs> We have six damage in hand there at 12. Actually, we have 12 damage in hand. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Don't I ever want it? That's not going to do what you want it to do. So we can just go deal one to everything. And if they don't block here, then we get a 1-1. One, one. It's totally fine. To be fair, face might have just been the place. Yeah, I don't 
care about that. So what happens if we go lightning bolt their face? Becomes a 3-3. Three, three. They go to 8. Go to six. This guy's a four. Thank you. The Planeswalker Academy, 10 months. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, we should have played the Fire Drinker Seder first. Oh, it doesn't appear they have anything. Yeah, this is bad. I'm just throwing away damage here. I think it's still fine, but... I mean, if they're at 5, then both of these creatures are lethal with the Lightning Bolt, so... Yep, that's pretty bad. Something good. That's not something good. No, we, we play we play crypto we play fire confluence and then we play Seder after the That's weird. Scrapkeep Scrounger. No, there's a like, like we play it before combat but after the fire confluence resolves. We have six mana. Graveborn Muse? Wow, that seems aggressive. Thunder my Hellkite one time. I mean, this is basically the same as shooting them with Lightning Bolt, but they also don't get to draw extra cards every turn, so. And now Hellrider is lethal, so they have to have an answer or a blocker, and I imagine they will. A lifelinking boy. Thunder my Hellkite one time. Incinerate. That, that'll do. <laughs> oh, man. Red decks are sweet. Just kidding. I guess I'm not kidding. I don't know. This deck is sweet.
All right, 2-0. Are we going to finally 3-0 this Legacy Cube with the Mono Red deck that was literally gifted to us? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Goblin Rival Master into Hell Rider into Beautiful Chicken is pretty good, but I don't like these colors that they're playing. These are the colors of removal, counter spells, and life gain. Never gonna resolve. It resolved. Never gonna make it to combat. It made it to combat. <laughs> I'm not understanding the things that are happening currently. I did not expect any of these things to happen, but here we are. Control magic again? <sighs> People keep stealing my Rabble Master. So rude. This is so much removal. We we said Searing Spirit Incinerate and a Goblin Rival Master on one control magic. Ugh. But if we draw this land, I did want to be able to play this, so. Still seems good. <laughs> oh, come on. Just stop. Okay, so if we steal one of these, we're attacking for a lot. Four creatures, they're going to 11. They only have two blockers, so they would likely block Zealous and Hellrider. They'll take five, so they're... They're taking five and four. They go to six. Hmm. Technically, they go to three, and then anything that deals with Regent whatsoever kills them. That's interesting. I like dragon here. I'm not I'm not interested in blocking. I'll take I'll take 12 here. I 
I want them to attack. Please attack. That's less blockers. I want to incentivize them to attack. That is fewer blockers. I don't like them untapping and having four cards in hand, but what can you do? Rift Bolt. Well, that is a lot of damage that they just removed from the board. That's aggressive. Oh, we should have bolted their face. Oh, I think we win if we bolt their face because they put them to 12 and then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we just didn't bolt the face. Because now we have to block two of the stupid angels. You're welcome. Oh, that was so bad. I mean, like they could still have a counter spell or something, but it's still pretty bad that we put them in a position to. All right, well. Go to three. Let's see who has the better lightning bolts. You have the better lightning bolts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're still at one. Well, that's not bad. Five, six. Yeah, that one lightning will play. I think that probably would have made the difference. This game is real. This game is real close. It's very possible they just wouldn't have had an answer to what we were trying to do there, but that was interesting. I just have to go for it here. We're not going to win a longer game here. I guess we'll see what they have. They always have something. block here they take three four five six seven eight yep and then we're one mana this lightning bolt is actually terrible for us god that one lightning bolt i even f5 i tried to f5 to like or i just hit five to try to turn auto yields off but Alas, it was too late. That was game one. No, oh, come on. Really? This is how we're going to end the, the, the series? Sure. They keep seven. Yikes. We know we're top taking a three drop. Runaway Steamkin there would have been amazing, but. I think this is probably better here. It gets more bodies on the board. I mean, all things considered, not a terrible draw. Here come the
comes Rift Bolt, no Rift Bolt. Is this real? <laughs> wow, this is a lot of damage. I mean, I'm feeling like a wrath is coming, but here comes old, yep, to the surprise of no one. Lightning bolt off the top Thank one you. time. This can't be countered. Um, well, we're just going to play this now because it can be countered. Xanthor, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. No, they dealt 13 damage. So that's the equivalent of each of these dealing 4 damage before they wrathed. So... I am totally fine with a wrath there. strike sure I mean they might just have nothing if they tap out here we're just going to incinerate their face for obvious reasons yeah they're dead unless they happen to have force of will blue card no they can't they would die pact navigation is an option I guess Ooh, mold of five. Good lord. Actually, if they have wrath, like hazard, it's actually probably pretty good here. Hazard probably better than Thunderbird region, I, I, would, I would imagine. I mean, tapping out for Elspeth is fine if they have literally nothing else to do. Then you're just going to, like, like it just doesn't do anything. Not Elspeth, but, like, not, not tapping out. It's like, you're just like, okay, I'm not going to do anything. I'm tempted to bring in this outpost siege against the control deck. Maybe over like a fire drinker slater. Yeah, that seems better. Well, less so now. <laughs> Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Outpost Siege is better in our deck because it doesn't it like it doesn't lock us out of playing things and that you don't have to like have it at a specific time. I wanna actually keep this on top. We are on the draw. I think that's fine. Thank you. Elk Tears with the resub. Love you, buddy. 
Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm talking about in general. I don't know if there isn't in general, really. Yeah, we're definitely making us earn this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to do this now because both of these are better in the future. I'm just going to auto yield to this forever. For every single error may I see you crack, I will always auto yield. Thank you. For now. Spartan Commander, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So we have what? Four, eight, nine, ten damage in hand? That's pretty good. Goblin guy. Oh my god. Lucky, 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 lucky. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Sure. Four, eight, nine, ten. I think we're just going to stoke their face here. They're tapped out. I'm okay with it. We have to also maximize the amount of mana we use each turn. Like, we're going to probably want to kick this, which is another five mana. So they're at four. We have an arc trail. That's fine. Choose first to deal two damage in your face. One, two, three, four, five. Well, should have played the land first. I don't know why you didn't play land first. That was a fascinating decision. Exquisite Firecraft one time. There's so many cards we can draw here. Let's play around like days. Oh my god, the 3 0 with the mono red deck. Pretty. Oh, so that's a nice little short one. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off. Check me out at Mana Traders. You'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, physical cards or digital cards. And you can check me out at uh, coolstuffinc.com. You can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. I will see you next time. That was rewarding.